What's up guys? Back with another one, SK yeah. So news dropped that Apple is in talks with Hyundai, or rather Canoe, to co-develop the Apple car rumor to be revealed somewhere between 2025 and 2027. At this point, no one has the correct year, but the new speculations are pointing at 2027. But now, a lot of people are asking questions about why Apple would choose Hyundai over a German manufacturer by the likes of VW, BMW, or Mercedes-Benz. And here's my analysis of the whole situation. Remember in 2018, Apple was rumored to be using Lexus SUVs to test out the self-driving program on vehicles. Though Apple did not confirm this or any information regarding this project, I think it would make perfect sense for Apple to use Lexus, but it would bring up the cost. And the same goes for BMW and Mercedes-Benz, though these companies already have EVs in the market. I think the reason why they didn't go with VW is because of VW's reputation in the recent years. From the emission scandal that cost the company a lot of money, it's starting to make sense why VW is all of a sudden building a lot of EVs. And because of this, it doesn't make sense why Apple would want to associate itself with such a brand. One important factor to note is reliability of German cars. I know this is a very subjective matter, however, Germans are not known for making good reliable cars, but they do make good competitive cars. Well, talking about the BMW 750i. I believe at this point, Apple is not trying to take the same approach Maserati took with its luxury cars. Then, works in Hyundai. A company that has scored a 95.7 rating in 2019 for their reliability. And at this point, Hyundai's reliability is right there at the top with Toyota and Hyundai. And adding to that, I think Apple might receive some good incentives from the Korean government because as it stands, it is already using LG and Samsung to source materials for the iPad and iPhones. And it is without a doubt that the partnership with Hyundai will see Apple Car using the dis display technology from Samsung and the battery technology from LG. Hyundai makes good, reliable cars and it has improved over the years. From the boring looking cars to tuning heads with the recent i30N, which is pretty much giving the VW GTI run in the race track. The build quality of Hyundai cars is so good. The i10 is known as the best reliable super mini and a fun car to drive. I've driven one myself and thanks to Matt Watson for his particular review of the car. Apple is always looking to partner with a good brand that manufactures good products and that's why they're using Samsung display technology on the iPhones and LG on other devices. If Apple was trying to cut costs, they'd rather go for BOE for the display technology, but the BOE panels from BOE did not pass the test, so without compromising quality for profit, Apple is suited going with a good brand like Hyundai to deliver the best EV priced within the same range as a Tesla or even lower and to avoid mistakes done by Tesla with the compromised quality in their cars. Well, I'm not saying that Tesla makes bad cars, but in the recent years, and the models that they've built, there has been a very questionable reliability of the quality of materials put in their cars. And I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how this unfolds, because at the moment, we only have the information regarding Hyundai and maybe some canoe there and there. And I believe this Apple car deal with Hyundai really does materialize. That's been it from me. Please don't forget to subscribe and catch you in the next one. Peace out.